Hi, Bill the Artist here. Just want to go through all the kind of basics of graphite pencil drawing and what you can use. Now this is kind of really what I use uh, a lot. And again, this is the equipment kind of that I've used over a long period of time to do my drawings. But I kind of use these pencils and these ones and these ones for my main work. But you can get other ones here. But recently we have done how to draw a toilet roll and the coronavirus. So do check those out in the uh, links in the description and in the cards up in the corner. That would be fantastic. And again, that's a full. This is like using just the basic techniques again, using these pencils. This one was using the pencil, the 2B, my trusty 2B to get started. And then we used basic felt tip pens to colour it in, uh, just a black marker pen around the outside. So again, check out those and learn the basic techniques and we'll be doing a lot more. So do like and subscribe, a little bit of that subscribe, click the bell uh, to be notified for all the new videos. There's going to be lots more. I'm going to be making the people who wanted the Harry Potter ones very happy soon. But these are the pencils that I use for all of my works. So if you do check out the painting and drawing time lapses or the portraits time lapse, these are the pencils that I've used over time. Now, these are Stettler, these are Faber-Castell, they are better make. Derwent, this is a an electric eraser. Now, this uh, company, Rexel Derwent, they make high-grade pencils as well, but you can use things like these. Uh, these are cheaper pencils. Uh, there's no name, there isn't even a marking on them for what they are, whether it's HB or whatever. This is your standard school pencil, the Norris. This is a Helix Oxford HB pencil. Now, those two there are, and this one here, these are called clutch pencils. And again, they hold a two millimeter lead, very, very, very thick leads. So you, all of these are just the various drawing tools, but you can start with the pencils that you have at school. It's that simple. And we also have the grades. These are, this is the kind of overview essential guide. Now, when I'm doing my drawings, I use uh, 6H through to 8B. I've got a 9B here, but that's just because that pencil does exist. I don't really use it very often. But I also use most of the time, as I say, my trusty 2B pencil, and that's that one there, and a 4B, and I use the 8B. Now, the 2H, 4H, going the other way, you can go to 8H, means hard, HB, and the B means black. So as you go to the left, going from HB down this way to 8H, it means hard and it gets lighter and lighter as you draw. So this is how the pencils work. The B means black and they're kind of softer and creamier, but you get deeper, darker tones, which you can utilize and use. And the blacker you get, the harder it is to erase off afterwards. So if you really scrubble in with the pencil, you won't get it all off. So you've got to be careful to leave white showing through if you want that. Again, like I say, these clutch pencils are very, very good because you just get the solid lead in and you can replace those and you can get those in different grades too. Now, all the different companies, they don't have a standardized recipe, even though they're fairly close, their own recipe. So Stetler is unique. Faber-Castells, that's their own. Rexel, their pencils. I haven't got any of theirs, a kind of black with a red tip. And I think they used to do like a red one as well with a, a gold band around the top. Uh, but the pencils all have their own characteristics. So even though a HB may be similar, it will be slightly different. And you'll get used to it using a particular brand of pencils. Now, I always from my art college days, used to use these Faber-Castells. But then I got into using these Stettler Technical Pencils, so I thought I'll give their pencils a go. And they do feel a little bit different. The way they react on the paper is different and even the paper that you use. So this is a smooth Bristol board in the background that we're gonna do the drawing of the zombie on. But I also use this Dale Rowney paper, which is just, it's a cartridge paper. So it's a little bit creamy. You can see the tone is a little bit different. And that's what I did the toilet roll on. And again, I like the tooth of the cartridge paper and that's a favorite again, going back to my old art college days. So 
with a pencil though you've got to keep sharpening it so you can use a little hand sharpener or you can use one of these this is a, a rotary desk one now i've got a big humdinging electric pencil sharpener that you plug in which massive it's about this big uh but you've got to keep on sharpening the pencil now these the reason i use these is the line is fixed so it's 0.5 of a millimeter the yellow ones are 0.3 and again this one is a 0.35 from faber castell and that one's a 0.5 but there's also cheap ones again no name make this is a, a 0.5 and that's got a 4h lead in it and this one mechanical pencil doesn't even say on what the oh it does 0.5 that's a 0.5 as well uh but they are cheap ones so you can actually get cheaper uh technical drawing pencils as well i think these are about eight to ten pounds each but again you can get them from uh stationery stores all over the place online and, and if you've got stationary stores close to you that are still open that's fantastic so do you utilize and use them but these clutch pencils the lead to sharpen them the ends of these i'm not sure about the stettler ones they are a new toy that i've been playing with but this one the ends come off and you scrape them in the end just basically run that around on the end and that'll sharpen it up now also you can use a little piece of sandpaper now i've got sandpaper in my studio Ooh, it's lurking up on the top it was it's floated off somewhere but i did have sandpaper and that's what i would sharpen up and you could also sharpen uh, your normal pencils to a fine point but Stantler produced this amazing little uh, sharpening tool that does sharpen the pencils. And you can just literally just put that in. And you can hear that sharpen it up and it sharpens the edges up, which and that's a fantastic little pencil sharpener. You just have to be careful when you put it in. Now, as I was saying, the grades go very very far so you can get from 8h to 8b and even a 9b which is very very black but your standard pencils you can draw with anything on any paper so you can just start with any kind of basic pencil but you can get very cheap and affordable i did see in a shop called the works that we have in the uk a set of pencils again from the grades from the very hard h to the very soft b you had uh a full set of pencils for about four pounds so you can get them relatively cheaply but we don't know what the quality is whereas Stettler, Faber-Castell, Derwent and other high grade they will make sure that their pencils are very good so now I'm going to draw and you can hear that on there but you can probably barely see this is a 6h now I use these I'm just going to right on with a pan so you can see i use a 6h for very very light tones again you can hardly see that there's anything there when i'm doing flesh tones or i want a lighter tone on something now the 2h is lighter still now HB, I don't actually have an HB in my drawing pencils because I use my favourite trusty 2B. Now you can press on hard it and get a darker tone on with the 2B pencil. I'm going to write on here 4B and then we've got 8B, oops that's 8, 8, 8B and then we've got the 9b so 4b you can press on lightly and press on darker and you get a deeper darker tone again the same with the 8b you can see there you get it very very black very very quickly you can see there's hardly any light there you can hardly see the tone because it's so light with the 6H. Now this is the 9B. And if you really press on, you get it very, very black. 
Now I like pressing on and I like seeing the lines and the shine of the pencil. Some people like it to be matte. Now here I've got the 2B Stetler technical pen and then I have a 3B sorry a 0.3 millimeter 2B and it just means I get solid consistent lines so if I want a very crisp line around someone's eye or a piece of engineering equipment like the motorcycle drawings that I do that's what these are very very good for so you can utilize them very very well so again this is the Faber Castell that's quite a hard one that's got a HB lead in you again you can hardly see it, but it's very very fine tip and fine point and this one's got the 2B lead in and that one just seems darker that's softer straight away but this is where if you get a lot of different equipment you can experiment with all the different pencils and the different grades but you can like I say I've, I've done some drawings that are on here like the toilet roll all with just the 2b pencil and that to me was the most versatile because you can get some good darks with it and I'm going to show you so this is the 2b Faber Castell like I say you can get you can see you get a similar kind of tone with the Faber Castell and again the Faber Castell 6H is very 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 light and if you do press on you can get a dark tone but it, I can actually feel it digging into the paper and scratching the paper up so you have to be careful just having a slip because I'm talking a lot <coughs> you have to be careful with the hard pencils because you can rip the paper and then especially when you start trying to erase afterwards now here we have the Norris now this is a HB and you can see in the middle it's actually you can recreate even with the Norris HB which is a Statler pencil something that is very very close and similar to a 2B And you can get some quite nice lines so even with a pencil like this you can lightly press on and you can get dark tones so you can utilize your standard school pencil and really do some good drawings so do uh, know that you can utilize basic simple pencils now this Oxford is a HB it doesn't feel as smooth as the Stettler but you can get a fairly decent range of tones now this one this is just a cheap pencil that you get in packs of lots from like a pound store or a thrift store but again you can create different marks you can use the top and the point and get quite light and you can use the side like you can see there and generate good dark tones so I hope that that is showing you that even with cheap pencils you can still create good art so do use and utilize that now when it comes to erasing or even smudging when it comes to smudging first you can use your finger but you'll get dirty you can use pieces of toilet roll or kitchen roll and you can just smudge and, sp and spread it around or you can even get these paper sticks now I've got you kind of get fatty but I get these sticks that are in a length and then I put them in an old pen holder they're about that long normally and they are a vital drawing tool so they are a good thing that you can use as well but to rub out I use a De La Rowney putty rubber Faber Castell do them it comes in a nice little case and you can squeeze these to a point that you can then erase slowly and you can even dab and mottle so that's good and then you'll see me when I'm erasing all the construction lines in the basics videos you will see 
how I use the Mars plastic, the Stettler Mars plastic, and they're just really, really good. So if I choose a 2B pencil and I can just put some lines on, it just allows me to rub out a large area quickly and I really like those. Now again, Faber-Castell, that's a PVC free one. This one's a dust free, but these are different erasers that you can get. And just like with the pencils, all I can say is have a go and experiment. Oh, need a bit more water. This is a Mars plastic that's in a pen holder. So again, you can move it out as much as you want. Faber-Castell do a similar one that you can... Uh, oh, I don't know, that's not actually an eraser. I don't know what that is, I thought that was an eraser, but it's something completely different. Get rid of that now. Derwent have got an electric one, but it's been so long since I've actually used this that the rubber is broken and I don't know where my spares are. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, all I can suggest is that you actually try lots and lots of different pencils and find out what suits you. But if you've only got a basic set, then just enjoy your drawing. Use basic equipment uh, to create really, really good art. I really love using the Faber-Castell, so I may end up using these again. And you'll see on some of the time watches I've done that I've used these pretty much for years. And I just love them. I love the way that they work. Uh, but I actually preferred these blue Stettler technical pencils. So you may even see in some of the videos when I'm doing fine lines, I'm using these technical pencils from Stettler. And then for the drawing, I'm using the green Faber-Castell uh, Series 9000 pencils. So again, experiment and have fun. But know that you can use any pencil that's got the grades that you want to experiment. You don't need the whole range. You can do if you want. If you want to do hyper-realistic, you will move from 8H to 6H to 4H all the way down. But you can get varying tones. But I got used to using a 6H, a 2H, a 2B, a 4B and an 8B. It suits my style. So anyway, I'm going to clear this off and then we will get on with drawing our zombie for this zombie apocalypse but this is all the equipment you know this is essential equipment that you will need to do your drawings and even paper I will just cut back on paper I know that this is like a hot press Bristol board and that's a Dale Rowney sketch pad you can get cheap sketch pads from thrift stores Costco supermarkets but even uh, just a sheet of paper out of that you would use for printing, your A4 paper for printing. It's very thin, it's about 80 GSM, very, very thin, but you can just draw on it. It's absolutely fine. So do know that you can use lots of equipment, whether you've got a sketchbook, sketch pad, or anything like that. Enjoy and enjoy being creative. But please do like and subscribe, tick the bell to be notified when new how to draw videos are available, and then you can experiment with your pencils. Anyway, do enjoy your drawing. Thanks again so much. See you next time. Ta-da.